Behind the scenes, about to sneak up on Kyle and Clayton. What are we doing? Nothing. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Clayton? Finished and sleeping. Yeah, catching up on those Z's. Boom. I'm on the way to town business with Clayton and uh, Ilmac. We're heading up to Oakland right now from LA. I've been driving the whole fucking time. Yeah. And uh, we should be there in a second. We're gonna set up for the pre-battle interviews. We're go going back to the Blackout 2 feel of having interviews before the battles. And uh, then the following day, we're gonna shoot two days full of battle rap. It's gonna be fun. Town business. I got the North, got the East, got the West with me. Oakland. We're in the hood now, dog. Look at it. Look at this hood ass area. We're going to this venue right now. I'm gonna check it out, see if it's adequate for such an epic rap battle event. And if it's not, we're taking it to the streets. So I suggest you niggas don't mess with me. Nigga, be cool, cause you don't wanna squab, cause we can do the fool, but you don't want a problem. This would have been crazy to film a battle up here. We'd have to come here really early in the morning to do that though. The sound would be an issue too, but that would look tight in the background. Boom, pre-battle interviews. Look at this shit. We're going back to the Blackout 2 feel of having interviews before the battle raps, uh, before the battles on the release on YouTube. Um, King of the Dot really liked the way we did that, so we decided to do it again. So we're filming pre-battle interviews today. We drove up a day early just to do that. It's gonna be fun. Put a body bag inside of a body bag. So Clayton, what are we doing? We're about to go get pumped. What does that mean? What are we doing? Describe what we're doing for currently, the fans out there. Currently, we are waiting for Benjamin to come up here and tell us where our microphone is so we can leave, go to the gym, get ripped really quick, <laughs> and then go interview Pass in Oakland, and then pick up the remainder of the team at the airport, Kip, and then come back here and finish the interview. Oh, dude, I can be a somebody, wrong with artist formerly <laughs> known as something, <laughs> got me a present. Bro, <laughs> I can be on camera with a cookie. I just can't be on camera. This with guy oh, bought me a cookie. Oh, yeah, this the stork dropped it. On. This guy that will remain unnamed. <laughs> How did you know my least favorite flavor too? <laughs> I've never seen this fucking flavor you before. Either. I either. No. I have like, there's like three other ones in the room. They don't make kombucha cookies. <laughs> yeah, because, you know. Yeah, because it's going to look, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 this oh, motherfucker is sad. Yeah, that's fire. The belt. The belt. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't mark it up. Yeah, let's get your hands on that. I'm saying, I'm asking, can I come out to some music or something? Yeah, I told That motherfucker solid as hell. Yeah. That shit legit as a motherfucker. Yeah, you gotta come out with that yeah, motherfucker. Man, man, that like that. Man, Wait, you're not gonna wear it? Yeah, I'm gonna wear, wear it tomorrow. Oh, you are. Yeah, yeah. You wear it. That's why I brought it. I'm gonna bring it tomorrow. Like, Sorry. I don't wanna let nobody know I had it. I ain't posted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... You are a part of the business for so long, you probably get screwed over in th different situations and you lose motivation. But at this point, I'm still so motivated and encouraged that I would literally be pissed off at myself if I had to accept a second half of a deposit or take money out of somebody that I know works hard and not give them what they paid for, yeah. you know? And like, I do understand why sometimes people just do lose the motivation because the business aspect of it, you can probably get to a point in battling where you're like, I'm not getting paid enough, screw this, yeah. it's another day at the office, I'm yeah. just not there yet. Boom, town business, day one, I'm white as fuck. Let's go. We are headed to the venue. We got Clayton. We got my little brother Kip. We got yep. Ben. 
we're gonna fucking kill today. If I can find my seatbelt insert. Headed to Oakland. Let's go. Mic check, one, two. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Microphone check. Check, check. Mic check. We got a preface. It's good. So. We, we, we here to not only ruin days, but ruin <laughs> motherfucking lives of all you suck ass marks that's fronting. But all the trail ones, <laughs> we got some the baby day too. How do you feel about day one, Lush? Um, it was really awesome. I would have to say that live for sure. I'd have to see it back on tape. Yeah, I mean, Rum Nitty versus Big K, one of the hardest battles I've seen in the past few years, hands down. Um, I. Um, what was the other one that was super cool? Oh, Ill Will vs. Pass. Amazing. And once people really, there's so much going on in that battle that people aren't going to catch. Little subtleties, and I loved all the references, like the similarities between Michigan and California music, and then like, yeah. and the way fucking Ill Will was styling was so crazy. It was like, damn. He was, so rap he was rapping like he could fuck anyone's bitch. You feel <laughs> me? Like, And uh, Magic vs. Ilmac. Was, was really dope too. Like that was some of the most intricate writing I've ever seen from Ilmac. Magic is always like to me fire, but I feel like people don't get him at first. But when they see it back on tape, yeah. it's gonna be insane. And I liked how they were able to like be so calm yet command the room in such a way on that stage. Uh, Active had a breakout, another breakout performance because he's been killing it lately. Oops did his thing, you feel me? Like the whole card, what am I missing? A Ward versus Mad Flex. Now, mm. sick battle, you mm. feel me? Really, really close. I really wanted A Ward to lose so bad for wearing <laughs> that jersey. So fucking disrespectful, but he killed it so hard. Yeah. It made me like, damn, you're wearing a Chiefs jersey and I don't hate you. That's how <laughs> tight you are. And of course, you know, Mad Flex, you know, in the town, he was showing out. So, Five for five, in my opinion, batting a thousand. We got eight more today. So. And today, we in the pit, right? Switching back to, to the some pit. fucking DOTB shit. I almost cried tears of joy when I saw that we back in the pit because this <laughs> is how, especially Danny and Diz in the pit, like yeah, gonna crazy. somebody's gonna get ruptured eardrums. Yeah. I don't know. Like that's a lot of energy to be contained. Yeah, I think also in the pit it's gonna help out a lot of other cats too. Oh yeah, they yeah. Have struggled on the for stage. For sure, for sure. I mean, you know, there's like potentially every battle could land on main stage but there's a few that you know might be still on the fire ass gz channel yeah. which is dope but like you know I, I, we haven't seen some of these artists on that stage so it'll be dope to at the very least they'll be more comfortable so it'll bring out a better side of them so when they are ready for the stage you know it'll be a smooth transition yeah it's like I feel like the transition to the stage is a bigger leap than the opposite. Like everybody that oh, works on the sure. stage can work in the pit, but it's not really doesn't work the other way. Absolutely, it's like the, it's the difference between like, 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 and this this is an analogy, but being like a regular rapper performing on stage using mics, and then like you know there's a shitty sound system, the beats all loud, you, you gotta to scream, it, yeah. yeah, and then like going outside and ciphering, yeah. you know what I mean? There's like so much more freedom in that regard and it's way easier as opposed to like you know just like 
chilling and then having to go on stage and exerting way more energy and vocal capacity than you had originally anticipated. Is. Yeah. What the fuck is going on over here? Is there like some like festival outside or something? Uh, yeah. Fucking pre-party. Yeah. Battles pre-party. <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. These are everybody awaiting Diz and exactly. Danny out there. Yeah. <laughs> just partying. PG, keep it down. Yeah, <laughs> all the head eyes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> There's a glamour, but you know it feels great to be back in Oakland. The, I think the number one thing for me about this event is besides the battles, besides be you know all the homies, like it's just like the vibe of it's Oakland. Vibe. Like yeah. the fans, people literally come out just to see battles. It's like yeah, if the cards dope, they're not. Yeah, if the cards of a certain caliber, they're gonna come out, and yeah. the, it just makes the, yeah. the the battlers want to step it up. There's no real crowd bias. Yeah, if you cater to this audience and like reference local things in a dope way, it's gonna get a reaction. But they don't care if you're from here or not, as long as you're fucking dope. Like, you know, Rum Nitty's from Arizona. He probably got maybe besides Pass or equal to Pass the largest reception when he stepped on stage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, feels good to be back in Oakland. Back feels in the Bay, great, man. You know what I mean? Feels great to have a uh, Rum Nitty. Just want to reemphasize him back on King of the Dot. Yeah. That felt amazing to me. Um, Geechee back on the KOTD stage, you know what I mean? Going against the former champ. Like, yeah. man, I can't tell you how excited I am. Thanks all of y'all for supporting. And Kyle, man, and Rudy Day, thank you for making us look so motherfucking tight. It's easy, dog. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Who we play, bro? Yo, shout out to my whole bitches. Anything else? That's <laughs> about it. You're shout out to my whole bitches. Okay. Um, yo, that, that bar about that room that you had about you last night? Good. You're fucking choking, man. Are you talking to me? Freestyle. Yeah, yeah, you're just I'm like blushing, having bro. a mid round conversation. You suck. <laughs> Trash. All right, go ahead. It's on you. Kip is on you. Uh, roses are red, violets are blue. New York Square. So screw you. Uh, <laughs> talk to him, though. He <laughs> I'm in your say, face. What are you going to do say, about it? Yo. You can't just cut him off mid round. I say, yo, you're done. I said, what's your name, Kip Palace or Kip Collector? What is it? Yo, I don't even know your name. This dude is lame. Clay Pro, and I run this game. <laughs> and I'm retiring after this, like, uh, this. I'm shutting this off. The man himself, the stock. That hand, oh, me? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Watch the pay-per-view live. Oh, we're on, on demand. Whatever, I don't to tell you what to do. HBO. Live on HBO Go. Game of Thrones, followed by Frack. <laughs> Tune in. Let's go! <laughs>
my voice <clears throat> from yelling one, two, three. Literally, that's the only thing I fucking yelled. This is the, the crew picking up after me. <laughs> That was tight.